Ever think and wonder what happens when pirates attack massive Navy ships? This is our topic of discussion for today, so stay with us till the end. We have a lot of amazing facts for you, so stay connected. Let's begin the video. Piracy has been a long-standing threat to maritime security, with pirates targeting vessels of all sizes in various regions across the globe. However, the prospect of pirates attacking massive U.S. Navy ships raises intriguing questions about the dynamics, strategies, and outcomes of such confrontations. This article delves into the hypothetical scenario of pirates attempting to attack massive U.S. Navy ships, exploring the potential challenges, responses, and implications of such an event. When we hear the word pirate, the image of a fearless person dangling from ropes with swords comes to mind. But set these film sequences aside, the real word is far more perilous and exciting. Actually, pirates facing off against the U.S. Navy. Many people are confused by the mysterious attack on an American vessel. What do they conceal? What are the U.S. Navy's anti-piracy strategies and who are today's real pirates? They're not like past pirates. They still pose a threat today and are real. Many Europeans turned to piracy during the 16th and 17th centuries known as the Golden Age of Piracy. As a way out of poverty, marooning, which entailed abandoning a person on a barren island with only a loaded rifle, some food and water, was a terrifying penalty, meted out to pirates usually to make a difficult decision. Pirates nowadays are not the same. They utilize weapons and rockets in the place of swords. Piracy has increased by 75% and yet waterway bordering is particularly dangerous. These pirates employ fast boats and fictitious distress signals. They want ransom money. Once they're on board, it's often difficult to combat piracy. Onboard Navy patrols are in place and the majority of sailors do arrive home safely. Given that, pirates still pose a serious threat to both safety and marine trade. The U.S. Navy has created comprehensive strategies to tackle this ancient evil. The employment of non-lethal deterrence is one of the Navy's primary tactics for dealing with such threats. Massive U.S. Navy ships, such as aircraft carriers, destroyers, and cruisers, are formidable floating fortresses equipped with advanced weaponry, radar systems, and layered defense mechanisms. These vessels are designed to project power, defend against various threats, and operate in complex, dynamic environments. The sheer size and firepower of these ships provide a significant deterrent against most conventional threats. Attempting to attack massive U.S. Navy ships presents pirates with numerous challenges. The water cannon is a commonly used non-lethal weapon in the marine business and an efficient deterrent against piracy. With the help of the following tactics and equipment, pirates are effectively discouraged from trying to board trade vessels. A water cannon can also fill pirate boats quickly, which hinders their mobility. Enhanced ship hardening is another important strategy used by Navy vessels and commercial ships are outfitted with physical barriers to make boarding more difficult for pirates. These include reinforced doors, razor wire, anti-climbing barriers, and fortified citadels. These formidable obstacles make it much harder for pirates to board the ships. U.S. Navy ships are armed with a variety of powerful weapons, including advanced missile systems, naval guns, and close-in weapon systems, CIWS. These weapons provide a robust defense against pirate attacks, allowing the Navy to neutralize thefts from a safe distance. U.S. Navy ships often have helicopters and marine patrol aircraft that can extend the surveillance and defense capabilities beyond the immediate vicinity of the ship. These assets can effectively locate and track pirate vessels making it difficult for them to approach undetected. Naval forces, including the U.S. Navy, often participate in international efforts to combat piracy. Combined task forces and collaborative efforts with other navies enhance the overall effectiveness in preventing and responding to pirate attacks. In order to promote international collaboration, the CTF-150 usually consists of ships and planes from several nations. Thus, you have no doubt noticed by now the U.S. Navy is a major player in collaborative efforts to combat piracy. Some U.S. Navy confrontations with pirates did not go as planned despite their best efforts on March 18, 2006. The guided missile destroyer USS Gonzales intercepted a suspicious ship, a large diesel-powered skiff towing two small gasoline-powered attack skiffs 25 nautical miles off the Somali coast. 
USS Gonzales first noticed the common pirate profile of a diesel boat towing smaller skiffs and, with the USS Cape St. George closing from 40 miles away, trailed the suspects until dawn. Shortly before sunrise, the two American ships each sent a pair of rigid-hulled inflatable boats with specially trained boarding teams to investigate. The boat's boarding attempt was aborted when the pirates opened fire on them from an extremely short range, and they returned fire and withdrew. The pirates chased the boarding team, then opened fire on the Navy ships with rocket-propelled grenades and other small arms. Too close for major weapon systems, the two American ships returned fire with small-caliber guns. The larger pirate skiff was soon set on fire by a 50 caliber tracer round fired from USS Gonzales, hitting and setting ablaze a 55 U.S. gallon fuel drum, and burned to the waterline. The two small skiffs were engaged and surrendered to USS Cape St. George upon seeing the larger skiff with all their fuel in flames. By the time the action was over, at least one pirate was killed, only one body was recovered from one of the remaining small skiffs, and 12, including five wounded pirates, were captured. A spokesman for the Somali pirate militia claimed there were 27 pirates that had gone to sea to act as coast guardsmen for the largely lawless state. Cape St. George received minor superficial damage, but no U.S. forces were injured. The startling thing is that pirates are always changing their strategies. They use a variety of techniques to increase their effectiveness and avoid discovery. One of these newer measures is the usage of a mothership to increase their reach. And, as we said, this is shocking. Not only that they take advantage of jurisdictional difficulties in international waters, but also that they hijack fishing vessels for piracy activities. U.S. Navy ships have highly trained security personnel, often equipped with small arms, machine guns, and other weaponry. These personnel are trained to repel boarders and protect the ship and its crew. The U.S. Navy employs military tactics and strategies to enhance the security of its ships. Crew members undergo extensive training in anti-piracy measures, including evasive maneuvers, defensive postures, and responses to potential threats. Piracy is a crime under international law, and perpetrators can face severe legal consequences. The international community, including the United States, supports efforts to prosecute and bring pirates to justice. While the risk of pirate attacks on massive U.S. Navy ships is relatively low due to these factors, naval forces remain vigilant and continue to adapt their strategies to counter emerging threats. Additionally, the focus on addressing the root causes of piracy, such as poverty and instability in certain regions, is part of a broader international effort to mitigate this threat. Conclusion as we conclude our exploration into what happens when pirates attack massive U.S. Navy ships, one thing is clear. The seas are not an easy playground for those who seek chaos. The U.S. Navy's layered defense systems, advanced weaponry, and strategic planning would likely prove insurmountable for pirates attempting to take on a massive aircraft carrier. Moreover, international cooperation and intelligence sharing would play a crucial role in preventing such attacks. The global community's united fronts against piracy has already seen success in reducing maritime threats, emphasizing the importance of collaborative efforts in maintaining maritime security. Ultimately, while the notion of pirates attacking massive U.S. Navy ships may capture the imagination, the reality is that the technological, logistical, and strategic advantages of modern naval forces make such an encounter highly improbable and the chances of success for the pirates extremely slim. In conclusion, the hypothetical scenario serves as a reminder of the importance of continued investment in naval capabilities, international cooperation, and the adaptation of strategies to address emerging threats in an ever-changing maritime landscape. The strength of the U.S. Navy, combined with global efforts against piracy, reinforces the idea that even the most audacious adversaries would find it nearly impossible to prevail against the unparalleled might of modern naval forces. Thank you for joining us. Until next time, stay vigilant, stay safe, and may the seas remain secure for all.